I doubt there were headlines when you broke up with your first love, but when Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears called it quits, it was sensational news. And as Barbara continues, Justin gets personal, talking about his love life, his sex life, and being just Justin. There's so many distinct memories that flow through this place, and you get nostalgic. I think I truly am a different person when I come here. See? I was going to start writing a song. <laughs> Justin has just bought an estate in Los Angeles, but he grew up here in a small town called Shelby Forest outside of Memphis, Tennessee. It's where he went to school and played baseball as a young boy. We're fishing down in this lake. With the release of his new album, Just Days Away, he returned here to his childhood friends and family to get away from it all. It's, it's a breath of fresh air. Your grandparents live next door, and you go there for grub. Yeah, <laughs> well, for grub and good times and good jokes. It seems like every time I go over there, my, my granddad has a new joke. How proud they must be of you. Yeah, I think they are. Shelby Forest is also one of the few places where Justin can get away from screaming fans and travel without bodyguards. You're about to have the best hamburgers you've ever had in your life. Howdy, howdy. There's a little general store down the block where you can buy a quart of milk. What happens when you go there? Do they say, hi, Justin, looking good? Why'd you cut your hair? <laughs> well, for the most part, they just say hi. You know, they just say hi. Keep up the good work. And I think, you know, you, you can tell that this is a small town where I grew up. It's so it is also here in Shelby Forest with his mother at his childhood home that Justin can truly relax and be himself. What was he like as a little boy? A terror. No, I'm <laughs> he really never was a terror. The scary thing about Justin is he was such a quiet child that you'd have to go see what he was doing. <laughs> Perfectionist? Always, always. Um, he probably is one of the cleanest people I know. He can stand anything on his shoes or his That's hands. That's enough. <laughs> As one of his managers, Justin's mother helps him coordinate his schedule. On this day, organizing the promotion for his new CD. She was also there back in 1993 when he tried out for the Mickey Mouse Club. And fell in love with another young musketeer, Britney Spears. to when you were 12 and what you thought of her, what it was like? Oh, I was, you know, obviously, the feelings of love weren't as developed as they possibly could be. At 12? Yeah, so I was, I was pretty infatuated with her. It, it was, uh, looking back on it, it definitely had this great expectations vibe to it. Did you give her her first kiss, or you your first kiss? Uh, I think so. I think I did give her her first kiss. In the Mickey Mouse Club or yeah. before that? Yeah? Yeah. Do you remember it? Yeah, I do. I do. Justin and Brittany became a couple four years later. Brittany launched her own recording career and, like Justin, became a rock superstar and a teen idol. They bought a house together, made headlines, and were photographed all over the world. Then five months ago, it all fell apart. Justin, everybody has asked you what went wrong. As much as you can without my asking a dozen questions, because maybe you can just say it once and for all, and then the rest of us will never ask another question. I don't think that'll be the case, but... Okay. You know, um, I remember when we decided that we were going to go our separate ways. Yeah. We sat down, and I said to her, I said, if there's ever a moment where you ever need me, you can rest assured that I will be there because I love you as a person, and I will always love you. But I also said, look, no matter what we say at this point, people are going to speculate things, and, and we could, I could really get myself in a horrible position if I was to say something and somebody misinterpret it, because that happens all the time. And I promised to her that I wouldn't say specifically why we broke up. 
You've been quoted as saying something very bad happened. You can just clear up this. The impression is that Brittany did something very bad that hurt you. She had a relationship with somebody else. Was there an incident? Honestly, I mean, you know, we're not perfect. I don't judge anybody. Um, I think that uh, it's just a situation of, it's just young love. It's a very intense relationship. That's for sure. So you had your chance to be my lover. Although Justin says that all the lyrics on his new CD come from his own experience, he denies that any were written specifically for Brittany. And tell her she better just come get you. Yet when we sat down at the piano and asked him to play something from Justified, he chose instead to play a song that nobody has ever heard before. Interesting lyrics. Thought I love was so strong. I guess I was dead wrong, but to look at it positively, hey girl, at least you gave me another song about a horrible woman. The breakup with Brittany has been devastating for Justin, and just as with everything else in his life, he turned to his mother for help. When Justin and Brittany broke up, and he has said publicly that he cried himself to sleep at night, and it was a broken heart. What did you as a mom say? You know, I cried with him and said, it'll be okay. You know, tomorrow I'll come. <laughs> I just want him to be happy. How's he, he was heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> Put your head on mommy's shoulder. It was, it was tough for us. It was tough for both She's of us because I can't stand to see him hurt. Can you imagine that someday you might be back together again with her, or is it a case now of just a... That's so tough to say. Yeah. I mean, at this point in my life, if you really want to know who my girlfriend is, it's those 13 songs on that CD. Mm -hmm. Don't fail me, baby. It's just just me. As we've said, the only song to be released so far on the CD is Like I Love You, which is in part about Justin's desire to fall in love again. You're a good girl and I'm good. Brittany has always said, and I'm quoting, good morals mean waiting to have sex until after you've been married. I would definitely agree with her water. on that. Okay. Did you and she live up to this during your relationship? Sure. <laughs> sure. Okay, I asked it, you answered, right? There you go. We both did our job. There you go. <laughs> Since the breakup, Justin's been seen partying in nightclubs all over the country. He's been romantically linked to rock stars Janet Jackson and Christina Aguilera and actress Alyssa Milano. He denies the rumors and says he doesn't have a girlfriend. What kind of a girl do you want to bring home to mom? Somebody like her. Oh, <laughs> Boom, got brownie points on oh, TV. Boy. I'm cutting some slack now for that one. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, honestly, Somebody that understands me, somebody that understands the things that I go through uh, in my career. Physically, what I try. Physically? Yeah. Oh, well, um, the first thing I kind of look at on a, on a woman is her mouth. Yeah? Yeah. Um, it's not what mama's as far, as far as body parts, I'd probably say I'm a butt guy. I'm not going to fight it. <laughs> Is that what you'd say? I like some junk in the trunk. <laughs> some junk in the trunk. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little Memphis. I, you know, I, I had see. to put a little Memphis in there. <laughs> that's a lot of Memphis. Sick and tired of hearing all these people talk about. For now, Justin Timberlake says he's content to put his love life on hold and just make music. And with the release of his new solo CD tomorrow, he's about to take a new and important step in his career but maybe not the most important step in his life. Lynn, what do you most want people to know about your son? That he genuinely, deep down inside, is a good, is a good person. What do you most want people to know about you? About me? Yeah. I think I would have to definitely agree with my mother. You know what, Mom? You did something right. Thank you. <laughs>